Hello, I'm editing a photograph for MySpace and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. Um, as you can see, um, I'm editing a photo live using a program called Zara Stream. It's a pretty easy program to use and it comes with a 30 day free trial and I added a link to this YouTube video which you can try over on the right side in the description. And um, this, this, I'll show you exactly how I created this this picture and uh, how to cut images from one photograph and put them in the background of another photograph and it's not really all that difficult to do. Now one of the nice things about this this software is it allows you to work on a picture um, live time which is unique to most photo editing softwares. So I'll go ahead and, and show you exactly how to cut out images and uh, put a, a photograph together. So here's a photograph of of that I'm going to be working with and I'm going to cut this image out from uh, this picture and put it in the background of the city picture just uh, as you've seen in the frame before. Select the magnifying glass to zoom in because basically what we're going to do is trace the edges of the image. I'm, I'm zoomed in about 878 percent. I click this, uh, this, um, this tool right here. It's a shape editing tool and I just begin to click the uh, outside of the image that I wish to extract from the photograph. So here I'm uh, just clicking the edges. It, this this technique takes about 10 minutes to do per per image, and uh, the closer you zoom in, the better. Um, and it, if if you you go off course slightly, you can do the undo, which is using the blue arrow up top. I'm not going to go through the entire tracing out of the image. I'm going to pause it so that this video isn't really that long. So I'm continuing on from uh, the image. I've gone entirely around and basically the key to making um, this, this uh, cutout work is that you connect the first dot with your last dot and um, when you do that it'll, it'll um, create a black silhouette over your cutout. So I'm going to place the first click with the last click dot and as you'll see, you'll see a black plus sign when I put the dots together like that. And it instantly uh, creates a black silhouette. And I'm going to zoom out to 100% so you can see what it looks like. This is exactly what we want to have. Um, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this black silhouette in the background of this picture by clicking on Arrange and Put to Back going to feather this image out to um, make it softer by sliding the bar over to about one pixel just like that. And next I'm going to give it a little shadow. This will give it a three-dimensional effect and makes it a little more realistic. I just click on the image and drag it to the right or left depending on the lighting of, of the photograph I'm going to put it into. Um, next need to um, cut out this Heineken advertisement so that I can put my cutout behind this this advertisement to make it look like I'm actually standing behind this store right here. And so I'm going to use the same technique as I used to cut out um, the, the previous cutout. And first of all I need to make a clone picture because I'm going to cut this store out and I'm going to place it into the background of, of, of the photograph later. So 
So essentially, I have two different layers that I'm going to be working with with this photograph. So I'm going to zoom in here. magnifying glass and just begin cutting this out and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it apply clip view again same exact technique just click the edges like you're cutting out with a pair of scissors I'm not going to be too particular about putting this together because it really doesn't matter I just have to match up the edges in the in the uh, photograph together like this with the first stop matching the last stop arrange it put to back I'm going to just zoom out so you can see my cutout and then I'm going to put it to back by clicking on arrange clip view I'm going to soften it up using the feathering tool about one pixel will do it one pixel on the edge of this uh, image ready to put the two images together and put the cutout of me in the background uh, like this I just had me hanging out on the uh, other side of the page there and just dragged me right over and I'm going to put them the back I will click on the image and move to move backwards and it'll just move me back in a, a, a layer and I can adjust this resize it and I'm pretty much ready to just stretch them out and just make it look the way I want it and now I'm ready to um, save it as an image so I'm going to just basically select the whole picture click arrange and scroll down to group and this will basically put the entire image together so that there's no more no longer um, layers I can undo it if I wanted to make adjustments but right now this is the picture I am gonna go with I'm finished with it and I'm going to just basically export it so I'm gonna click on file scroll down to export export and I'll bring up this thing I'll name the file and I'm going to change the bit site image to about 1200 pixels um, so I'll click on bitmap and I'll just change it to 1200 it automatically adjusts the height so I don't have to do 